How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. Now this one is exciting because it's kind of different. I haven't done this laser printing, 3D printing stuff in a very long time. This is Glowforge Pro and it's a CNC engraver laser cutting machine that looks like a printer and can cut through various different types of materials and you can engrave whatever you want. Since its inception back in 2014, it's become very popular, especially in America and it's now coming to the UK as well with a big community of users as well. Let's check it out. It's not cheap to buy, but offers industrial grade performance for something you can fit in a garage or small space and use it to create your own products. And perhaps you can sell them on Etsy or use it to quickly and efficiently make prototypes for your new product. It's 3D because it can be used to laser cut items that can then be assembled to make 3D products. It measures 96.5 centimeters wide by 52.7 centimeters deep by 21 centimeters tall and weighs just 25 kilograms. So for someone like me, I can easily pick it up and place it wherever I want it to be in the room. The Glowforge Pro is one of the three variants available at just over 5,000 pounds. There's also the plus and the basic versions with the pro version being the fastest with up to three times engraving speeds. The product itself is super simple in design and the setup process as well. Like I said earlier, it looks like a big printer with a big plastic white casing and a glass top and lid and the button on the side as well on the front, uh, which is used to start printing once it starts flashing blue, I think it is. But when you open it up, there's also a camera on the inside of the top lid, which is used to help calibrate the printer head and also help place your design on the web application. The built-in camera can also read your drawing or writing on paper that you've placed in there. So it can then transfer into a digital version, which you can then manipulate using the web app. You also notice the roll mounted laser printer head and the black crumb tray, which can be easily removed to get rid of any debris or collected pieces. There's also a front door that pulls down on the pro model like this one, and you get pass through slots front and back for large materials measuring up to 20 inches wide by a quarter of an inch thick with no limit on length. You can print 10 inches at a time and then slide the material through the slots to process the next section. Or you can use a makeshift item like this two rods here to allow long material to easily feed through the actual machine. All three models can take materials measuring up to 20.4 inches wide by 18 inches deep by two inches thick with a maximum printable area of around 11 inch by 19.5 inch. At the back, you find the power input on and off switch and the exhaust connection port. Here you can either connect your exhaust hose and point it out the window for ventilation, or you can also buy an optional air filter unit, which means uh, more space is needed and also it will cost you to replace the filter as well over time. The Pro model comes with the official proof grade materials, which come with a peel off protective coating on both sides and a QR code. The QR code can be read using the built-in camera for the correct laser settings. And if you decide to use third-party ones, you just need to check the compatibility and also use the right settings. The Glowforge Pro requires Wi-Fi connectivity to get it set up and for it to actually function. So no cables or proprietary software needed here. The software needed is a web app that can work from a smartphone or computer that can be Windows or Mac OS. So no issues there at all. Using the web app, you can import bitmap, so JPEG and PNG files, and vector files, so SVG, PDF. Glowforge also offers a premium subscription model, which opens up a world of free and paid for designs, and you can create your own projects from scratch using a variety of clip art style graphics, shapes, and text in a range of fonts available. Glowforge Premium is not cheap at all. It's currently on offer in the UK for around £349, which is billed every 18 months. Although you can use software like Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator to create your own artwork like I did. The Glowforge Pro has a 45 watt laser power and can cut and engrave wood, fabric, leather, paper, acrylic, rubber, and many more. You can also engrave glass, coated metal, marble, anodized aluminium, and titanium too. It also uses a CO2 laser tube, a type of gas laser operating at 10,600 newton meters with X, Y axis motors, allowing the laser to engrave with 1000 DPI resolution. It can draw a line at low power and engrave in multiple passes. And if you want different shades of darkness, it can vary the laser power between pixels. The laser can also cut through material up to 1.2 centimeters thick. So don't be trying to put any metal materials through there. What's great about the Glowforge Pro is how easy it is to get up, uh, up and running with it. So it's easy to set up, easy to use, and you don't need some level of knowledge at all to start using it. All you need to do is be able to get your artwork there and start printing stuff. 
and how complex you get really boils down to the kind of design you want to do and what product you're going to be using and all that kind of stuff. So do bear that in mind. What I really love though is there's a big community of people that's been using this and making money uh, using this. You, have to, you just have to go on YouTube and type this in, type the product in and you will see people that are making a lot of money week in, week out using this product, So, which is pretty cool. So using this community, you can ask questions and find out more about the product and you know just ask questions away. But that's it really for Glowforge Pro from me and it's a really great product. I got to print my logo on my laptop and print uh, a headphone uh, storage system which looks pretty cool and neat and I just love the product and I can't wait to get back there to print more stuff. But that's it there for me. If you guys want to find out more, please do subscribe and uh, ask questions in the comments below as well. I'll leave all relevant links in there as well. So if you want to find out more, so uh, do check it out. If this is your first time around here, please do subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video up on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.